Nintendo has been staking some claims. Copyright claims, that is. Nintendo! Let's-a go, Simeon. Let's-a go. Let's-a go make some games so that they can <laughs> be taken down. No, making games is not all it's cracked up to be. No, it's difficult. But we do have a viewer who makes games, and he's pretty good at it, huh? Mm-hmm. And he tweeted us, his name is Dollar Luigi, and he said, Two Button Crew, how do you guys feel about Nintendo removing 500 plus games from Game Jolt, including mine? So this is a personal thing, it's not just, no. oh, I heard this happen. No. This is something that actually happened to him, and I think that's one thing that's important to remember, is that mm -hmm. these are people that put a lot of work into these games to make. Right, and Nintendo went on kind of a spree of these cease and desist letters, um, DNCs, and they were directed at things that included some of Nintendo's copyrighted material. Mm -hmm. So whether it's sprites from old games, Nintendo related music, characters, locations, and uh, Nintendo doesn't like to see any of their properties used unofficially. Yeah. So. This is within their legal rights to do, mm -hmm. but we gotta discuss why they do it, why other companies don't seem to care as much, you know, what's what's with Nintendo targeting their fans, it seems like. Indeed. And the people that make these games do it because they love Nintendo stuff. Yeah, it's. I think that's something that's important to keep in mind is that they're not doing it, usually they do it and like expect to see nothing from it, like no money. Mm -hmm. Like they're doing it because they want people to play their game and appreciate it. Right. Like, um, I mean, Metroid Dread was taken down recently. Dread? Or not Dread, what was that one? The A weird... AM2R? Yeah, uh, AM2R, Metroid, that's one. Another Metroid 2 remake? Nintendo killed Metroid Dread too, though. Even though it was free, huh? Salty. Yeah, it was free. It. Did you get it in time? No. I did not either. I didn't know about it until it was too late, so... I'm sure we could work something out. There's there's <laughs> ways of getting that stuff, yeah. but but they they um, work really hard to make these games, mm -hmm. and they just want people to play it and appreciate it. Yeah. And then um, stuff like uh, what happened on Game Jolt is Nintendo says, you know, nope, we're putting a stop to it, mm -hmm. and then 500 plus games get taken down. Yeah. Now... Taken down doesn't mean like deleted. Okay. It means public. The public does not have access to them. Okay. So it's still somewhere on the website, and the creator is still able to access the files. Oh, great! But it's not. It's not publishable. No. Publishable. <laughs> well, I've tried to think of both sides of the coin. Obviously, Nintendo isn't just trying to be a big bully. Mm -hmm. Here's why they should be uptight about their IP. Their intellectual property is Nintendo's holy grail. In fact, mm -hmm. it's like the holiest of all grails, really. Yeah. Nintendo's characters are their cash cows, and even much, much more so than their hardware, you know, they can survive off of their characters. Mm -hmm. And um, the Nintendo experience and polish is really central to their brand. Um, you can always count on buying a Nintendo game or just seeing, you know, Mario on the cover of a game and it's going to play well, it's going to have good menus. Is it better have, be good? It's not going to have typos in it, stuff yeah. like that. And they are expanding right now, Nintendo is, and people need to know that when they see a Mario character, or a Zelda character, a Metroid character, a Donkey Kong character, that it's official. Like when Mario Run pops up on the App Store, yeah, they need to know that that's a Mario game, and yeah. not a Mario knockoff. And Nintendo doesn't want that ambiguity out there. It's like, is this a Nintendo Mario game, or... A fake Mario yeah. game. Yeah. That's, and that's fair enough. And I think that um, something that game creators should have in mind is that they should see this company they should see this coming mm -hmm. because um not only is it within nintendo's legal right to do so right but they have a track record of doing so yeah so when you put your game out there it stinks to have it taken down but you have to kind of put that in with your expectations and in going into the project mm -hmm. i see 
I see your point there. And then I also tried to look at the other side of the coin and ask why should Nintendo loosen up about all this? Because they're very strict. They're historically strict compared yes. to other companies. Uh, they should let loose because their policies offend their most loyal customers, not the general public. Yes. It's the most hardcore people who can actually make games and would actually know about sites like Game Jolt. I'm not even that hard, mm -hmm. hardcore. I've never played mm -hmm. a Game Jolt game. Me either. But there are 500 of these, and the most you know dedicated fan gamers knew about them. Yeah. Um, and their policies get into YouTube and gameplay footage a lot. And so many companies just think that Let's Plays and stuff enhance their marketing. Oh, sure. It's free exposure. And a lot of game companies like that. Yeah. Nintendo makes it very difficult to stream to make any revenue off of playing Nintendo games. They're slow to adapt. Uh, Nintendo has a lot of old-fashioned systems and mm -hmm. um, like we're members of the Nintendo Creator Program where when Nintendo steals all of our revenue we can submit our videos and ask for a portion of that. So. YouTube and Nintendo split it, and then Nintendo gives us a little piece Yay. after that. Yeah. But they only do that for approved games, and the approved games list is so like, old and stuff, it's like, yay, we can play WarioWare for the GameCube. <laughs> yes! We can't even play, like, Smash Bros. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. They're very slow to adapt. Nothing that people would actually want to see. Yeah. And then this whole process just kind of takes the fun out of Nintendo. And Nintendo should be known as a very fun brand. They should be fun on social media, fun on YouTube. They should just be the fun company. They you know? should. And um, on, hmm. on that same note, on that same side of the coin, uh -huh. they, they really just need to take a course in internet culture. Mm. Because internet culture is take something, adapt it, and make your own version of it. Memes. Multiply, spread it, share it. Yes, share it. The mm -hmm. more the merrier. Whereas right. Nintendo is, like you said, you know, very focused, very um, controlling of their IPs. Yeah. And I think, like, if anything, they should take a um, a page from Capcom's book, which mm. is a sad thing to say. But Capcom is like, here are all of Mega Man's sprites. Make comics, go forth, <laughs> use these for everything. And if you see something that is not a retro game, yeah. fitted back yeah. into a retro game, what kind of sprite is it going to look like? 8-bit. Wait. It's going to look like an 8-bit game, but what? what's it going to look like? What, Simeon? I was... Okay. My voice was cracking and I okay. was distracted. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if a company um, wants to take, or somebody wants to take an, a newer game and retrofit it to 8-bit, mm -hmm. what template are they going to use to do that? They're going to use Mega, Mega Man. Man. Yes. I was going to say that. Yeah, I knew I, you were going to say did. that. Because Mega Man is simple. Mega Man is great. And Capcom's like, well, you know, if, you know, we don't care about Mega Man anyway. People can use yeah. them and we can get more money. Yeah, so, um... I don't know, just other companies just have that idea of, yeah, like you said, more exposure. Mm -hmm. Let's get the word out there. If some Joe Schmo YouTuber has five followers <laughs> and he wants to stream our thing, that's yeah. great. If Billy Bob Joe has a bazillion followers and he wants to stream our game, that's even better because yeah. that means more people are gonna see it, more people are gonna wanna buy it, even if it's bad. Yeah. Like, people, the, the thing to do nowadays is like a cheesy game or bad game. Yeah. And they're like, do not play this game. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh, it looks so difficult. And I want to try it. <sighs> that's uh, you. Yeah, that's me. That's your voice for you, Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> Have we said all there is to say? I, I think there's so much more to, sh more, more to say. So much more to say on this topic. So much but more to eat. It's... Like we said, it's like a two-sided coin. Mm -hmm. They have the right to do it, and we understand why they do it, but they should not do it. <laughs> I mean, they can, but they... Ah. It's like saying, yeah. I remember the last thing I wanted to say. 
they actually just posted a whole job for this. He's gonna be, whoever gets this will be the IP hunter for Nintendo. Are you joking? Just scouring the internet eight to nine hours a day, sending out these letters because obviously they're not doing enough of it yet. They, they just, there's a job posting and it's so funny, it got shared around. And they're like, Nintendo fans, this might be the perfect position for you. Someone should get in that job and then sabotage it. Yeah, and then like, just oh, do yeah, really bad. We're shutting down everything. Don't worry about it. Just, like, just, just like what you do is you make a fake website <laughs> and copy all of the, the all of the fake games onto it, and then shut the website down, yes. and you've done your job. <laughs> no, it's it's a joke. It's yeah. Wow. It's like saying you can poop in your hand if you want to. You can do that. Sure. Is it good? <laughs> What's the saying? I, I a know. poop in the hand is a uh, is <laughs> worth the pee in the foot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, What's the real saying? A, a, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> okay, I can't understand that saying. <clears throat> Thanks for being with us today, and thanks for being a part of the crew. Don't forget to share this video with your other Nintendo f friends and fans and yeah, everybody that you know. We're not against sharing. Yeah, sharing is good. See you guys next time. Signing out.